sand sea and sun seekers came in droves in 2022. Dotted lines were signed to welcome direct flights into the music capital and the second city from Connecticut, Belgium, Netherlands, the Dominican Republic, Italy, and as far as the Middle East. The northeastern section of the island joined in on the activities with non-stop flights from Turks and Caicos and Miami lowering their air stairs at the Ian Fleming International Airport. The cruise industry also made an impressive addition to the arrival numbers. This rebound in air and sea travel led to monumental moments for the industry. Over 2 million stopover arrivals and earnings clocking in at over 3.7 billion US dollars. If we intended to maintain any semblance of the momentum, and you know we always do, we can safely say that well before 2024, we will have 4.5 million visitors and we will earn 4.7 billion US dollars for the Investment efforts in the people behind the industry were reinforced in 2022. A tourism workers pension scheme was launched. And for newcomers to the industry, the Jamaica Center of Tourism Innovation, JCTI, database was developed to connect them to potential employees. The JCTI also launched a new certification program for professionals in the industry and trained over 1,700 hospitality workers. 3,609 Jamaicans secured employment through a cruise industry recruitment drive, while 90% of workers in the industry were re-engaged in full-time employment in the accommodation subsector and 70% in the attraction subsector following the pandemic fallout. We are committed to producing a competitive and productive workforce that can take advantage of possibilities in the tourism and hospitality business. Our tourism stakeholders pulled out some construction tools and signed off on a $70 million contract to remodel the Devon House Courtyard. Developments continued over in St. James with the groundbreaking for two multi-million US dollar resorts. Those hoping for a view of Kingston's waterfront can opt for the newly opened 12-story Rock Hotel. The tourist town of Negril got its very own red, green and yellow gateway signage to pull in more visitors. We are satisfied that notwithstanding um, the COVID disruptions, the investment climate in Jamaica remains strong and buoyant and the appetite to invest in Jamaica is very strong. The summer that has just ended is the largest and best summer that Jamaica's tourism has ever seen. A stand innovation is quite fitting for 2022's landing by the Minister of Tourism. Yeah.